You will be impressed by this truth. Many people rely on these two verses from the Old Testament to say that Christians should not eat pork. In Leviticus 11.7 we read, A pig, although its hoof is cloven and divided into two hoofs, does not chew the cud, consider it unclean. And in Deuteronomy 14.8 we read, The pig is also unclean. You may not eat their flesh or touch their carcasses. In the New Testament, Jesus says that nothing we eat makes us spiritually unclean. In Mark 7, 18 and 19, he states, They do not realize that nothing that enters a man can make him unclean because it does not enter his heart but his stomach and is then eliminated. Jesus came to take care of what is most important, which is our heart. If you still prefer not to consume pork, don't judge others for your choice. If you've come this far and truly understood the message, comment, my faith is important, because whether you eat pork or not, it is through your faith that your salvation will come. And don't forget to send this video to someone who needs to hear it. God bless you. Is All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect beginning with the 144,000. This is Brother Yerushalam coming at you with a quick video through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. The name of this one is, it is a sin to eat pork and other unclean animals. They are are not food right hashtag they are not food so it's a sin to eat pork and other unclean animals they are not food and that's just the facts right you saw this um this video or this christian nonsense that's going around all right uh i believe it's right on instagram you know whatnot basically it's a whole bunch of <laughs> you could say hogwash it's really bullshit all right you hear people talk about um, unclean food and there's no such thing as unclean food right you know it's um it is it's, it's no it's no um there's no um unclean thing that was meant meant to be food all right so these unclean animals you know they are not food you know um you can go many places in the, in the scriptures and you could prove that all right even um in the book of genesis the seventh chapter you know it goes into noah noah only brought two of the unclean animals if he was eating those animals they would have gone on extinct so either he would have eaten the male or the female, and they won't have been able, been able to reproduce. So it's all a lot of hogwash. You know, Moses, uh, um, Salaki and Noah was eating the clean animals, but there were seven of them that went up into the ark. All right, and that's just facts. Now we saw in this in this video, you know, they talk they spoke about Leviticus 11, Deuteronomy 14, and those scriptures expressly state, you know, that um, you know, don't don't eat pork. All right, that's just the facts. You know, you know, no need to go through that. But it's important to understand that the Lord doesn't change. All right? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai doesn't change. Now, Christianity, plantation Christianity, would have you believe that the Lord changes, which is a big fat lie. It's the book of Malachi. I think it's Malachi 3. And verse 6, it says, For I am the Lord, Yahweh. I change not. So, if the Lord doesn't change, all right? So lucky, yeah, let's bear with my moment here. Let me just notifications. All right. So if the Lord doesn't change, all right. <clears throat> Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Then, does his law change? The answer is no. Now that's factual. Also, precept upon precept. Let's go to the book of Hebrews, chapter thirteen, and verse eight. It reads. Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. So the son doesn't change. So if the father doesn't change and the son doesn't change, well, does the law change? The answer is no. The answer is no. All right? The law doesn't change. And the facts remain the laws, the same laws that you heard from the beginning. Um, from, from the beginning are still intact. All right. The only difference is that we have grace, true, true faith in Yahweh Shai, you know, that we can get ourselves right because we couldn't keep the letter of the law. All right. Um, let's go. Let's see. 
Yeah, this is First John 2 and 7. Let's go into this. First John 2 and 7. Brethren, I write no new commandment, right? With the same 10 commandments and the same 600, and, um, 600 odd laws, all right, and statutes are still in effect. It says, um, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which he had from the beginning. Beginning when? Since back in the book of Genesis in the, uh, and in the Torah. The book of Leviticus, the book of Deuteronomy, right? Leviticus 11. The dietary law, Leviticus 14, dietary law. The same things they heard the jackass talk about. Right? It says, um, it's the same law, right? From the beginning. The old commandment, the old commandment is the word which we have heard from the beginning. Right? So, hmm, it's nothing new, says any in the NLT. Dear friends, I am not writing a new commandment for you. Rather, it is an old one you have had from the very beginning. Who had that commandment and laws and statutes? Israel. Israel only. It says this old commandment to love one another is the same message you heard from. And that's part of the laws and the statutes. And the fact is that um, what is sin? All right. Let, let, let's prove it. To prove it's a sin to, uh, to eat unclean animals. Right. Right. It says First John 3 and 4. All right. Whatsoever, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Right. And let's hear what sin is. For sin is is the transgression of the law right in the nlt it says everyone who sins is breaking god's law for all sin is contrary to the law of the heavenly father and where's the law of the heavenly father contained in the torah the five, first five books of moses where moses wrote it's really the first five books of yahweh bashem yahweh shai including the, the levitical law in, in leviticus 11 to Deuteronomy 14. so let's go into this word transgression all right says transgression all right uh apparently a prolonged form of obviously primary blah 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 to make a thing out of to render one basically to act rightly no 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 just not what transgression means all right let's get the word here transgression meaning transgression to act an act that goes against a law, rule, or code of conduct and offense. So you are offending the Lord, the, the power of, of the universe. All right, you're committing a crime against him, a wrongdoing, a felony, a misdeed, a vice, a evil doing, right? Eating pork, not unclean animals, you know, uh, 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 it's, it's an offense, it's law breaking, it's, it's, a, it's, it's um, a crime against the Heavenly Father, right? And guess what? It's going to be punishable. All right, don't, 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 you know, best believe it. All right, you know, the, the, the same, the same uh, soul in this video here was basically talking about in the New Testament. Uh, that, this is the New Testament, all right? This is First John, First John 3 and 4. Isn't that in the New Testament, too? You should go take a read, all right? You know, the Lord never said, never said anything about we, we um, you know, we will eat what us, what. Eats, what eats what we eat make us spiritually unclean right you know you know this is what the lord said he said nothing about that you know this is what the lord said the lord never said that you know hey we can do what we want all right that's that that's that wicked alistair Crowley sy syndrome this is what yahweh bashem yahweh shai said this is what yahweh shai said this is um, matthew chapter 5 and verse 17 it reads Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Right? In the NLT, it says, don't misunderstand why I have come. I did not come to abolish the law of Moses or the writings of the prophets. No. I came to accomplish their purpose. Right? Going back in the King James Version, verse 18, it says, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Now in the NLT it says, I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not even the smallest detail of God's law will disappear until its purpose is achieved. Right? Till its purpose is achieved. So, it, um, let me continue in the NLT verse 19. It says, so if you ignore the least commandment, right, which is like the, the Levitical um, the, the law, the dietary code, all right, like eating unclean animals, 
all right? The quote says, don't eat unclean animals, all right? If you ignore the least commandment and teach others to do so, the same like this uh, soul here, all right? This is the judgment that's coming upon him. You will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But anyone who obeys God's laws and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. That's, that's, that's where you Christians going to be all going to be the least. You know, unless you repent and change from your wicked ways, swine eating ways. All right. Romans chapter 3 and verse 31. It reads, do we then make void the law? Right. Through faith. Right, because if remember, he spoke about faith. It's faith we are saved, right? We, we're going to get there. We're going to get into that. Do we then make void the law through faith? The Heavenly Father forbid. Yea, we establish the law. We establish the law. In other words, we keep the law. Even though we, have, we are saved by grace through faith, we establish the law. Right, because that shows what? That, that shows your faith. All right? Now, let's go into the NLT. It says, well then, if we emphasize faith, does this mean that we can forget about the law? Of course not. In fact, only when we have faith do we truly fulfill the law. All right. So what is this? What is this guy talking about? All right. Amen. These plantation Christians, they 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 off. You know, they bugged out. They bugged the hell out. All right. They don't know the scriptures. They don't understand anything in the scriptures. They bugged the hell out. All right, and they're going to lead it to destruction. You better get out of that, those Roman Catholic and those Christian churches as quick as possible. All right, they, they're going to lead it to the destruction, no doubt. No doubting about it. All right, no doubting about it. So, you know, you keep in mind faith. All right, keep in mind faith, right? Because we're going to go into that. But, let, but before that, let's go into the book of Mark. The same precept that he brought up, Mark 7, verse 14. All right, it reads, the heart of man, right? The heart of man, which is what the mind, la'ab in the Hebrew, which means the mind. All right? Because these scriptures, they don't, they, these Christians don't understand a damn thing. Okay? Not just putting it plain. It says, um, And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. So he told you to what? Try to understand. It, it says, it's in the NLT. It says, And Yahweh shall call to the crowd to come and hear. All of you listen, he said, and try to to understand try, but does everybody understand no everybody doesn't understand because why the lord blinded some of them he de he, he blocked their ears so they can't hear you get that in isaiah the sixth chapter in nine verse all right so then who we were speaking to the elect that's why these christians you know don't understand the scriptures because they're not chosen right they're not chosen it says verse 15 there's nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him right but i was speaking about what that's speaking about doctrines, philosophies. Right? That's what I'm speaking about. All right? It says, um, but the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. Right? Your actions. All right? Your works. You know, the scripture talk about a man works. He's going to pay. Every man going to pay for their works, whether it be righteous, whether it be wicked. All right? They're going to get payment for it. It says, verse 17, and when he is, was entered into the house from the, from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable, and he said unto them, Are ye so without understanding also? Right. So he, the Lord knew that a lot of them who were listening to him didn't understand what he said. You know, and just like these Christians today, like this one here, talking about, talking a pack of bullshit. All right. Just putting it mildly. All right. Do you not perceive that whatsoever thing from without entered into man, it cannot defile him? The Lord wasn't talking about literal food. He was talking about spiritual food. All right, spiritual food, doctrines, philosophies, beliefs, a belief system. It says, because it entered not into his heart, right? Your heart is your mind, la'ab, but it goeth into the belly and goeth out into the throat, purging all meats. Now, remember that word meat, right? Um, now, a question, you know, do you believe, do you believe everything that, you know, someone comes and tells you, right? No, that's facts. You know, we've been preaching on the highways and the byways for years, you know, starting with the elder apostles on down, right? And a lot of these jakes, they, they never believe. So guess what? It entered into their belly, the, the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, entered into their belly and goes out what into the draw, which is the which is like basically a waste hole, your, your anus, all right? Basically purging all meats. But as this, this meat is not speaking about uh, 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 pork or shrimp or crab or lobster, no, it's speaking about doctrines. 
all right? Beliefs, philosophies, all right? How you know that? Because the Lord always spoke about that. The Lord spoke about meats, okay? Uh, um, let's go, let's get a few precepts. Let's get the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 20. Right, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If door of what? Your mind. Your mind. All right? Right? If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him. Share what? And in the, in the NLT says, I will share a meal together. What is what? Meat. So is, it will, will the Lord come in into your mind and literally sit up, set up a table in your mind and eat meat? Eat pork? No, damn fools. All right? You're going to eat spiritual food, philosophy, proper philosophy, the true doctrine, the 100% truth, right? You know, that's what the Lord is talking about. He will sup with him and he with me. So the Lord is going to teach you the deep, dark mysteries of this truth, all right? He's going to sup with you. He's going to teach you. And that's, that's like none to what a meal, but it's a spiritual meal, not speaking about these unclean, food, unclean um, animals. When I say unclean food, <laughs> there's no such thing, not clean animals. All right, now let's get the book of John, chapter 4, verse 30. It reads, John 4 and 30. Then they went out of the city and came unto him. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that you know not of. Right, now in the NLT it says, I have a kind of food you know nothing about. Right, a kind of food. What food is that? spiritual food therefore said the disciple one to another hath he hath any man brought him brought him or to eat in other words they thought it was literal food just like these foolish christians right they think that when you hear meat or you know something like that it is it's literal food going into a man no you know spiritually what goes into a man all right is philosophies doctrines beliefs you know of which you don't necessarily have to believe everyone that you hear which is why the Lord said, you know, it goes into the draft, into the belly and the draft. It wasn't, it's not a literal belly, all right? It's not a literal belly, it's spiritual talk. But if you're carnal and it's not given unto you, you'll never understand. That's where you get all these foolish Christian beliefs that they can eat um, unclean animals like pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, um, possum, okay? That's where you get these foolishness from. It says, my meat is to do the will of now, verse 34, it says, Yahweh Shai said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Right. Now, what did the Lord, what, what did the Father send Yahweh Shai with? A doctrine. Right? The hundred percent truth. To come and share. Because the Lord said, you know, he, he's not, he doesn't speak his own word, but he speaks everything that the Father gave unto him, roughly paraphrasing. And that's just facts. Alright? That's just facts. This is Matthew 4 and 4. It says. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, right? But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the heavenly father. And that word is his truth, which he learned from his father. Yahweh I learned from his father. So these people, they have no understanding. You go, you go to the book of Acts, you see the same thing. You know, um, Acts chapter 10. So like here, let's go to here. Acts chapter 10 and verse... Let's jump down. Let's jump down. When uh, Peter got the vision. Alright. Right. Acts 10. And um, verse 9. It says, On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up upon the house top to pray about the sixth hour. And he became very hungry and would have eaten. But while they made ready, he fell into a trance. So this, he got a vision. Alright. And saw heaven open and a certain vessel descending unto him. As it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners, representing what the four corners of the earth, right? And let down to the earth, right? Wherein all manner of four footed beasts and of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air, which what man is also a creature, all right? Man also is, is represented as a creature in the scriptures. So this is not speaking about literal food. That we're gonna see. This is what Christians um this is how Christians interpret this scripture, but they're going off. Alright, they're going way, way off too. Alright, way, way off. Alright, let's get the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15. It says, And he said unto them, 
go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Every creature is what? Think you're going to preach the, preach the uh, chicken or cow or moose? No, it's men. Right? It's men. Okay? So man is a creature. It says, verse 13, Acts 10 and 13, going back. It says, and there came a voice to him, rise, Peter, kill and eat. Right? Again, spiritual talk. Not speaking all literal. The Lord will never tell Peter to go and eat an unclean animal. Right? It says, but Peter said, not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. Right? Because Peter didn't understand the vision at the time when he first got it. Right? As, as a lot of us do. When we get dreams, we sometimes don't understand the significance of it right away. Or even visions. But eventually, it manifests what the vision really means. So, you have to have what? A spiritual mind. Right now, verse 15 says, And the voice spake unto him again the second time, What the heavenly Father had cleansed, that call not thou common. So the Lord will not talk about uh, 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 um, unclean meat. The Lord never cleaned, cleansed unclean meat. He cleansed men. Men who were Israelite foreigners, who were scattered among the heathen in, around the four corners of the earth, following the wicked laws, statutes, and the, and, the, and the customs of the heathen. Uncleanness. Okay? Not keeping the holy days, not keeping the Sabbath, all right? Eating all these, in fact, part of it was eating all these unclean animals, like pork, all right? It says, now, while Peter doubted in himself what this vision which he had seen should mean, behold, the men which were sent from Cornelius, which was what? He was a Roman centurion, but he was also what? An Israelite, because it tells in the scriptures that, you know, the Lord, he prayed to the Lord, and the Lord heard his prayer, right? The Lord only heard listens to his saints all right the men which were sent from cornelius had made inquiry for simon's house and stood before the gate so in other words um peter had this vision beforehand the lord telling him that hey you know you're gonna have israelite foreigners who are gonna come to hear this word as well all right you know that that's what that is what the, the meaning was the lord is also sending any word unto the scattered israelites which we were scattered for a curse according to deuteronomy 28 and verse 64 and many other scriptures who's there, 8 and 8 included. Okay? So, you know, hey, 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 this Christianity is dead. It's a big fat lie. Right? Just one of the last point I wanted to address. In fact, let me go back to um, this precept in, in uh, Mark. Is it Mark 7? Yeah, Mark 7. I don't think I read the whole thing. Uh, when you go into it, it, it says, um, meets. Let me see. Food which is eaten, right? Now, let's see here. Let's go here to eat. All right, let me see something else here. Purging all meats into the draft, to the belly. Let's go all the way down here. I believe it's Mark 7 and around 20. Come from within. Yeah, so the food, the foods that he's speaking about here is not literal food. You know, the Bible is written in parables and allegories, dark speeches. So, you know, it's a, it's a whole lot of lies. Uh, these, um, these Christians, you know, are preaching a lot of, a lot of lies. When you go down here, it says, um, Mark 7 and, um, 20 and he said and he said that which cometh out of a man that that of, a, of the man that defileth the man right because you, your way is your works so when you go back to the commandments all of the commandments basically have actions right you know your heart is it, the scripture say your heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked so how you think and that's what defile you because you know your actions your your works based on those thoughts you know gonna, is what gonna defile you for for from within out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts Adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these, all these evil things come from the from, from the man from within and defile the man. Come from within and defile from a man's mind. And um, why would they talk about food? The Lord wasn't talking about food. Right, you know, you, you, you know it's, it's, it's about the, it's about thoughts, your beliefs. All right, that's what the Lord was talking about. Now let me get a, get a couple of precepts and close this out, because He's talking about you know 
through faith your salvation will come right you know but what he, what he didn't say is that faith without works is what dead right faith without works is dead so if you have faith and you do what you want you know as we read about in um in romans 3 and 31 in fact let me go back there first romans 3 31 what does it say it says do we then make void the law through faith Yahweh forbid yea we establish the law now in the nlt it says um well then if we emphasize faith does this mean that we can forget about the law of course not and this is the apostle paul speaking whom christians love to quote right but he was what he was fed the apostle paul was fed you know he's fed meat <laughs> if you will from your by your from your shai right it says of course not in fact only when we have faith do we truly fulfill the law why because we're going to do the works of the law if we have the faith that's the facts so this is the part that he omitted this is james chapter 2 and verse 14 it reads what doth it profit my brethren though a man say he had faith and have not works can faith save him and that's the point he said salvation came through faith you're wrong you're wrong salvation comes through faith and works it says if a man or sister be naked and destitute of daily food right in fact um let me just jump down right destitute of daily food and one of you say to them say unto them depart in peace be ye warmed and filled notwithstanding you give them not those things which are needful to the body what doth it profit right even so faith if it hath not works is dead being alone yea a man might say may say thou hast faith and i have works show me thy faith without thy works right and i will show thee my faith by my works and that's how you show your faith by your works by going up by us going out on the highways and by ways and preaching this word and risking our lives you know that's that's showing what faith so you can't show faith without works and the heavenly father is looking the scripture says faith is what pleases him right but without faith now you have to act on it all right you have to do the things which are righteous in the lord's sight now including abstaining from eating unclean animals that's one example now let's get the apocrypha uh second is just chapter nine chapter nine and verse seven it reads and everyone that shall be saved let's get this here and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed right you know but how you believe you have to act is an action that's necessary that's how we're going to be saved by his works and by faith so not by eating wicked ass pork all right you know and um as, as we go back to the topic of the video is it a sin to eat pork and unclean animals the answer is yes it is unclean right and he says that you don't judge somebody if you don't eat it well well i have a i have a, a word for you all right the word judges right the word um judges all right the word gonna judge you all right this is um is john john 12 48 let's see if we can get that in the letter it's a john 12 and 48 it says he that rejected me and receiveth not my words including the laws and the statutes including the dietary code right hath one that judgeth him the word that i have spoken the same shall judge him in the last day the same shall judge him in the last day right and all those who eat pork not unclean animals you're going to be destroyed right you're going to be judged you're going to be destroyed isaiah 66 and verse 15 all right it reads for behold the lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will the lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the lord shall be many now let's see who the lord coming to kill with all his anger and his fury all right it's verse 17 it says they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens what that's what the church is including the, the roman catholic and the christian churches right behind one tree in the midst right those ancient gardens those ancient um hidden pagan holy places right eating swines in the midst of one tree eating swines flesh right on clean animals and the abomination and the mouse right which we're going back to the um, possum 
etc. All these things what are unclean shall be consumed together, say at Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And that's the fact. So you can do you can continue eating your pork on your, your your pork, your shrimp, your crab. We don't really care. You've been warned. So when the judgment comes upon you, you're gonna be destroyed, you know. So with that, if you hear in this message, you know, and you and you and you and you know and you and you, and you, you, you um it hits your heart, repent. Alright, because the time is short. So the next time, I wanna I wanna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash, Shalom.